Hi everyone, it's me Brittany here at 39 weeks exactly, so I'm still pregnant. So as far as my symptoms go, I'm having way more pelvic pressure, so having backache, the freak, the Braxton Hicks are more frequent, a little bit stronger, but no like regular contractions yet. And I feel like my bowel movements have increased even more, like three or four times a day. And I lost some more of my mucus plug, but it was just the actual mucus, not like the, the bloody show or whatever. And I think that's pretty much it with my symptoms. I had a doctor's visit today, and everything was good with weight and everything. Baby's heartbeat was good. So I was telling you guys that I was going to do the membrane sweep today, but I wasn't able to get it done because... I'm not dilated yet, and after all the reading I did about it, I didn't realize that you had to be dilated for them to be able to do that. So, she did say that my cervix had moved to the front. I believe that's the term she used, but it has switched in position. And I know something was different because last time I got checked, it was just so painful, and it didn't really hurt this time. So, she said that was because my the way my cervix had moved and then she said that baby's head was really low or whatever so definitely making progress and what I thought was interesting she was asking me if it was like any natural things I had started doing to try to induce labor like spicy foods and stuff like that so I thought that was kind of interesting as she brought that up and she was like has your your doula told you any tricks of the trade so I told her you know I'm not, I wouldn't really try to do anything crazy, but I said I, I was waiting to try stuff like if I was overdue, but she was basically telling me like to go for it. So I kind of been eating spicy stuff throughout the pregnancy anyway, but just in moderation. But the only thing that I really wanted to try was the raspberry leaf tea. So I had difficulty finding it, but I just found out that Whole Foods has it. So I'm actually going to run there in a little bit and get some. So I'm just going to try that. And I'm not, I've read stuff with different herbs and stuff like that. But, um, you know, baby will come when she's ready. And I feel like even with those natural induction methods that I feel that they probably worked because it was kind of time for your, your body to be doing that. And also, um, since I see two different doctors, one of the doctors is going to be in the Keys this weekend for a wedding and the other doctor is off so they have like a weekend when they're not on call and they use like a service or whatever when someone else would deliver you but she said the doctor I saw today since she'll still be in town she gave me what's called the golden ticket so basically it's just a note that I would need to take to the hospital that states for them to call her and not utilize the service so that's good if something was to happen during the weekend that the doctor I've been seeing would be able to deliver me so but she was like hopefully you know you'll go before Friday and then she you know told me not to feel discouraged about not being dilated yet because she said that she's seen some women just how quickly they progress even with still being closed up so I didn't really feel bad about it. I just, um, I knew it had been some changes. I knew that, uh, the baby felt lower to me as because I had more pressure and then just noticing different changes with losing more of the mucus plug. So, you know, I'm making some progress. So, um, one step closer and that was pretty much it with the doctor's visit. Not, not really too much going on. Um, Pretty much everything's done, and I didn't mention I went to do the car seat inspection, which I had been trying to schedule something like for quite a few weeks now. So finally, I was able to get something for this Thursday. So if I'm still pregnant, I'll go have it inspected. If not, my husband should be able to take it. I didn't realize that with certain police stations and fire stations, you have to like schedule these appointments. It would seem like you can kind of just go up there and when I did talk to a different police department the one that I'm going with they said they do it every week but they said it's some places that only do it once a month so um, hopefully I'll be able 
to get that done. If not, I know they do it every Thursday or whatever. Um, oh, I was in Target and they have quite a bit of stuff on clearance. So, especially you guys who are having little girls, they have like lots of like jeans and the little khaki looking pants. And these were only two fifty each. <laughs> so I just went ahead and got nine months because at that point it'll be like December, so it'll be cold. And then I they had a few of their onesies on sale as well. Our body suits, whatever they call these. So this is navy and has like a little lime green to it. But I just thought the flowers were really cute. And then the ruffles. And then I got a shirt, a daddy shirt. So it says, um, all I need is daddy and love. So I thought that was cute. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry I don't have too much to report. But um, just letting you guys know I'm making progress. And hopefully I will have her soon. And hope everything's going well with everyone else's pregnancies. And just congratulations to just the young ladies I've been seeing lately who have had their babies. So it's just giving me even more anxiety of wanting Trinity here. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and show you my belly. So here's front, the side. And the other side, start it up. And looks like it's around thirty nine and a half. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.